Welcome to Bio Vivacious. I'm Sebastian. Bio Vivacious is a YouTube channel dedicated to clear fundamentals of biosciences and make the subject exciting. An important aspect of every metabolic pathway is that it has to culminate by writing a stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is a balanced equation for all the individual steps that has uh, happened in that particular pathway. So you know that in glycolysis there are 10 steps. So we have written down all the 10 steps. Now what we do is we try to balance it, whatever is common we try to cancel it. Before we do that, we should know that we began with a 6 carbon glucose. It was a 6 carbon glucose and from uh, it becomes a 2, 3 carbon compound. So therefore this equally gets converted, DHAP gets converted to 2 molecules of glycerol dehydrate 3 phosphate. Now from here onwards, it is double the number of molecules which will undergo glycolysis. So therefore this becomes 2 molecules. So we will write it 2 into, 2 into, this also 2 PI, 2 NAD plus, this also 2 into, 2 ADP, 2 into, 2 into this also, this is phosphorinol pyruvate, uh, this also 2 ADP. Similarly, here also, this is also 2 into, uh, this is 2 NADH, 2 H plus, 2 into 2 ATP, 2 into 2 PG, 2, 2, 2 into and 2. Excellent. So now it is ready. Now, uh, now we can find out whatever is common on either side of the arrow sign, we cancel it. For example, here is an ATP, uh, glucose 6-phosphate. Here there is, this also cancelled, this is cancelled, this is cancelled and this is cancelled. Uh, this is one and the same, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, so that we cancel it here. 1, 3 bis phosphoglycerate is cancelled, 3 PG is cancelled, 2 PG is cancelled, PEP is cancelled, that is cancelled. I believe now almost everything is, whatever is common, we have cancelled it. What is the remaining? So therefore, the remaining is going to be, so we have uh, glucose, so we write that, glucose plus, here is an ATP, so ATP, here there is a second ATP, so two ATP molecules, here there are two PI molecules, two PI plus two NAD plus, two NAD plus, here there are two ADP plus two ADP, uh, here there are two more ADPs, okay, here two ADP, another two more, so we make that four ADP molecules, that's all on the left hand side, so now on the right hand side, so yeah, okay, uh, two NAD plus four ADP, so we write four plus two ADP, two no, four ADP right here, so four ADP is written there. Now what is on the right hand side? So here there is one ADP and in the second ADP. So we write down So we continue. So the two other side there are two ADP molecules, two ADP. Uh, here there are two NADH plus 2H plus that is coming from here. There are you will find two ATPs here and two ATPs that makes it four ATP molecules and 2H2O. So plus 2H2O and a pyruvate, two pyruvate. Okay. Again, whatever is common here, we will cancel it. So you will find 2 ATP here and 4 ATP. So therefore, if you cancel this 2 ATP, you make it here, it is 2 ATP. Uh, you will find 4 ADP here and 2 ADP here. So these 2 ADPs are gone and let us make it 2 ADP here. So this is going to be the overall equation for stoichiometry for glycolysis. That is glucose plus 2PI, 
plus 2 ADP plus 2 NAD plus that will give rise to 2 pi u8 2 NADH plus 2 H plus plus 2 molecules of water and 2 ATP molecules. So therefore we have a net gain of 2 ATP molecules in glycolysis. This is called a stoichiometry. Another important aspect of every metabolic pathway is to understand the energetics. So in order to understand energetics, let us divide the table into three columns in this manner. So this is going to be the reaction and uh, this is going to be the enzyme catalyzing the reaction and this is going to be either ATP produced or utilized or NADH produced or utilized. So therefore, reaction number one, you know that it is conversion of glucose to glucose 6-phosphate. So this is how you should write. So the enzyme is hexokinase and we know that we have used one ATP molecule, we put minus one ATP. The next reaction is fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. So that is catalyzed by PFK. Again, we have used one more ATP molecule. If the third reaction is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, we have converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. Now, it is catalyzed by glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme. There, what has happened is, remember now we have produced two NADH molecules. That is important for us. If the next step is, uh, what we have done is, this 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is converted to 3-phosphoglycerate and that is uh, 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 catalyzed by the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase. So remember, in this we have produced two ATP molecules, that is important. And now we have the final step where phosphoenol pyruvate is converted to pyruvate. Enzyme is pyruvate kinase. There also we have produced two ATP molecules. So this is the energetics. Now effectively, Effectively, you have learned, you can write the stoichiometry in this portion and you will see that if the net yield, net yield is, so two ATPs have been utilized and four ATPs have been produced, effectively we have a net gain of two ATP and two NADH. So this is the net gain of glycolysis. Now remember, if this NADH enters into oxidative phosphorylation, it is able to produce, uh, each NADH can give rise to 2.5 ATP molecules. So 2 into 2.5 is 5 ATP molecules. Plus you add this to ATP. So if glycolysis ultimately resulting into the aerobic phase, we will have 7 ATP molecules. So this is the point to be noted down. So in the anaerobic phase, it will be producing only just two ATP molecules and two NADH molecules. So I believe that you have enjoyed going through these pathways and understanding the nuances of each of these reactions and how to calculate uh, uh, the energetics, how to find the stoichiometry. I believe that it was a stimulating experience for all of you. We will be coming up with another video to discuss other interesting aspects of uh, carbohydrate metabolism.